are back again to discuss interpreting data on bar graphs. This time with two-step problems. Today we are taking on challenges with two-step problems using bar graphs. It is a good strategy to start with labeling the value of the bars on the graph. Then we don't have to figure it out when we are answering the tougher questions. I see the orange bar for cheese lines up between the 14 and 16. This bar is worth 15. The pepperoni bar lines up with the 6 and sausage bar lines up with the 8. Let's get to interpreting. Here's the question, how many more people chose cheese over pepperoni or sausage combined? I write the three numbers in my workspace and then pick apart the question. How many more tells me to subtract something and combine tells me to add. The sausage and pepperoni choices need to be combined or added. 6 plus 8 equal 14. Wait we are not done. We have to figure out how many more people chose cheese than the other two combined. Hmm. We will subtract 15 minus 14 and get an answer of 1. One more person chose cheese than sausage and pepperoni combined. Last question, how many people took the survey? I wonder what I could do here. The question wants to know how many total people made a choice. I can add up each bar to find the total number of votes. 15 plus 6 plus 8 equals 29. 29 people picked a pizza topping in the data shown. Two-step problems do not have to be hard. Look for what the question is asking for and then make sure to do all the steps. Now, I need to look for the pizza place's number and get my order in.